All right, Scott here. It's Monday the 22nd and doing my update for the day. It was a busy day for me, just busy with like lots of little tiny interruptions, nothing bad, nothing dramatic, just lots of little things. And that really sets me up for failure for the day. I have a really hard time dealing with interruptions and living in Nicaragua, that's probably my biggest negatives. I mean, my biggest negatives really are the litter and, and uh, you know, dogs on the street. Those things give me the most, and I would really like to see more trains. But beyond those things, it would be really nice if I could find a way to not be interrupted so much. And it's one of the reasons why I look forward to us building our own place out on the beach. I plan on having a studio where I'm able to work during the day where outside people have no access to whatsoever and everything has to go through the main house or a guard station or something here we do have a lot of you know protection against that the street is out there we have a guard station you have to go through the guard station to get to us but we still have neighbors and so there's people who don't work for us that sometimes are inside the walls and sometimes they're out honking sometimes they're causing problems sometimes they're noisy one time someone broke in and stole a thing of soap like actual thing. And, you know, little things like that, we have to be a little bit more cautious and people will make it all the way up. And my office is in the front corner, right where the driveway is. So anyone who gets in goes immediately to my office, knocks on the wall, screams in the window. If security needs to talk to someone, they come and get me. If a delivery is being made, it comes to me. All those kinds of things are happening at my office. And those little things never end. And so my entire day is always interrupted by that stuff. That's tough. Then uh, today was our lawn care day. So we have this huge garden that's all around me and we have a team that comes in like every week and they spend most of the day cleaning it up. They're great. We like them a lot. Very nice guys. We totally trust them. Um, and and it, it's nice that we know they know the dogs, they know the kids, everyone's comfortable. We don't have any worries. We've been very fortunate to have a really good crew that does that. It's mostly a family. And uh, but it's lawn mowing all day long, which we need for sure, but it's really hard for me to work because I'm trying to do a lot of media creation in the office and all that noise means that I can't come out and use the garden all day. And there were a lot of like people needed to stop by and get money, things that I just had to handle from the office. So I couldn't leave to go do my walk arounds. I was hoping to do a Nicaragua 360 yesterday walking, wasn't able to do that. So I found that very frustrating throughout the day. By the time the evening rolled around, I wasn't able to get my video for the day done for my main vlog. If you haven't subscribed to that, at Scott Allen Miller Vlog here on YouTube, definitely go subscribe to that. But I did get an everyday vlogger. Again, another channel that I have. It's the little blue circle everyday vlogger where I talk about what it's like to vlog every day here on the show. And uh, <clears throat> so I, I got one of those up, but not the other, but trying to get, I have so many channels. I actually checked, I have 11 active channels, I believe at this point. And, um, by uh, by evening, we had to go out. We had a birthday party for a friend at Via Via, so we went and hung out there. I just gave it two hours, hung out, um, had you know had one drink and just sat at the table and chilled and hung out with some friends, and and that was nice. We had a good time, uh, but. I was like, oh, I've got so much work I got to do. So I came home from that at about 10.30 uh, and then spent the evening getting the video for yesterday done. Today I'm doing a lot of catch up, so it's actually going pretty well. I'm not behind uh, as I've been. And I, in general, I'm doing a good job of catching up on my videos. It's a lot of work, trust me, but it, that's where I'm trying to get. I'm, I'm For the last like six months, I've been feeling very much behind the eight ball because of our trip to Mexico and Florida. I had to do so much to get stuff done ahead of time. And then the stuff from there hasn't been posted yet. And it's just, it's been very hard uh, to absorb that amount of time that I lost, but I mostly have now and I'm working on building up a buffer and I'm getting a better and better process. And one of the things I'm doing is, is making videos that go way out in, in the future, not just tomorrow's video and the day after. Uh, and so at some point that's going to start working in my favor that I'm going to start catching up to where I've put things in the future and that's going to start absorbing um, some of my my effort and so it's going to get better and better uh, but I'm still working towards that and it's going to take some time but my editing has definitely gotten faster I've noticed that and I'm really looking forward uh, to getting to the U.S. in the next few weeks one I've already placed some orders so I've got uh, two new lenses uh, for those who don't know I've got a Fuji XS20 it's my favorite camera I've got uh, the entire Suri sniper set for it well they released two more more lenses, a 16 millimeter and a 75 millimeter. So I got both of those ordered in the white ceramic matches my other three, my 23, my 33 and my 56. So I will have the 
the entire set of all five cinema lenses, but they're autofocus, not traditional cinema. They're, they're the Saturn line adapted with autofocus built in, which I need for the stuff I do. Uh, so I'm gonna have all five of those. That's gonna be cool. It's gonna make filming on my desk a lot easier with that 16 and 75 is just great for portraiture. Those are all F1.2s, even the 75. So you can imagine the background separation and blur that you get on that. It's pretty incredible, the bokeh. Uh, and so I got those ordered. I got um, some new batteries for the GoPro because I eat through them, even though I'm not getting a new GoPro this round. Uh, I have not yet ordered the DJI Pocket 3, but that's got to be ordered and ready. Uh, I got a new OGO backpack, my old one. And I'm very sad about this. 22 years old. It has finally worn out. It ripped at the top. Someone cut it while it was traveling somewhere, uh, and now it's coming apart. I could sew it and kind of get it to hold on for a little while, but 22 years. That has been my backpack through so much of my life. Actually, it's more, 23 years? It's crazy. I got it at the Christmas of 2001, so 22 and a half, and it has been my go-to backpack the entire time. It has carried so many different laptops, so much equipment, been to so many countries, so many trips, so many different business ventures and jobs, entire careers that I've had. That backpack has been there. It was a gift from Tech Systems when I was a brief consultant at Lockheed Martin just after I had left working at IBM uh, back in the early 2000s. And it's just always been with me. And I still have it. It'll still, I'm not getting rid of it, but I'm so happy with Ogio and how well it lasted. I got a new one in orange that should be arriving uh, this week over at Francesca's, my sister-in-law's, uh, along with a bunch of other equipment. I can't even remember what, I know I'm getting a new tripod because my, my Kent Faith broke already. I need to see if I can get that fixed. A whole bunch of little things uh, that I need, but the, the, Pocket 3 is going to be the big camera uh, that I get along with those lenses. Very excited about the new lenses. So that was my day. Got the videos done. We're getting caught up. I've got lots of uploads and downloads and stuff going on right now as I film this. I'm filming it on Tuesday, bright day, and uh, having a good day today. But we'll talk about that tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.